Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight I'm be reviewing this fella. A Rioja, so it's from Spain. All Riocas are from Spain, but well, I think they are anyway. And it's Sipa Lebrel. And it's a, a Joven 2018. Uh, bought from Lidl, round about four quid I presume. I didn't pay any more than that. And uh, it's actually my second second review tonight, and like a twonk, I uploaded the other review, uh, took it off the, this camcorder, and uh, there must have been a problem when it transferred to the computer. And then I deleted, I edited, deleted all the, I've run out of space on it, so I've deleted all the films, so I've actually lost a, a review, which is a bloody annoying. Primarily because I spent 16 bloody minutes yakking, and it was a, I thought it was a bang on review and all, but yeah, caught me in all. So, hence the big glass. Um, dark red, uh, purpley black in colour. Nice aroma of dark fruits. Mm. And I'm having sausages with this, funnily enough. Uh, I did a review of a wine the other night and it says good with sausages. And I thought, wow, tonight, sausages. Ooh, nice fruitiness to it. A little bit of spice on the back end. Very pleasant drinking, very pleasant. So, 13% in strength, should help me sleep tonight. So today, today, March the 2nd, it's um, generally a, quite a sad day for me. Five years ago, my mum passed away, um, struggled with cancer for nearly two years. And uh, the last year and a half was, you know, it is terrible to see anybody. Um, going downhill and their face changing and uh, you know it's um, it's very very hard to see you know if someone's took away from you they die in their sleep and they die peaceful and all that without any pain my, un my uncle he, um, he died a couple of years ago and he was full of life and he just passed and it was like it was his way of going like you know on his own terms and it was so it's still very sad for my cousin now but better that than seeing somebody wasting away not being themselves you going round and you know you see them struggling and uh, it's an awful way to die and uh, you know um, obviously she didn't die in an accident or anything like that, so there is that side of things. That that to me, someone dying in an accident or being murdered, you know, or committing suicide, to me that leaves such uh, pain um, to the rest of the family forever. Obviously, you know, we all hope there's a, there's um, there's a heaven above us, and uh, you know, I generally hope that. And uh, yeah, um, yeah so, so five years, always a sad day today for me. Went to work today, tried my best not to, you know, put things out of the way, not, not to say too much at work. Um, I don't really know the people I work with that well that I want to talk, you know, about things. And um, it's really strange because, you know, going off from the wine for a second, for a bit, My mum, towards the end, uh, the doctor came in and says, um, "You're, you are going to die." And I'm looking at him, thinking, "Yeah, tosser." And he says, uh, "You've got weeks to live." And uh, she was in hospital, and she was cheering up the other people. She was, in a way, she was looking at the other people, saying, "Yeah, she's not very well. She hasn't got a long left." And all these people in Haywood House and. In Nottingham City Hospital, 
you could see it in them you know it's it's like the last last chance saloon sort of thing and um she was she was a personality came out and she was making them all laugh and it was great to see and uh, the doctor says to us she starts to pick pick up and uh, it makes me wonder if she come to terms you know and I wonder if that's a passage. I mean, obviously, I don't know. Never died, and no one, no one, no one, no one can come back from death, as far as I know. Anyway, I, I've been to churches where people have said, "I died three times on the table and saw a light." Um, but anyway, um, we, she was supposed to come out of us that that weekend, and we got up there on the Sunday, and she was fast asleep. Uh, so obviously, she couldn't come out. And then on the Monday, got a phone call and uh, she'd passed. And, um, yeah, you know. And, um, yeah, but anyway, the house which she lived in, my niece took over the house. And one day, um, another niece, a younger niece, she's only about five at the time, she, um, five or six, she was there and in the house and says, Mama, that's what they called her, just said to me, um, don't, don't, um, don't worry, I'm, I'm okay now, I'm, I'm, talking to you, your great granny and uh, your granddad and uh, I'm okay and I'm not in any pain and all this and uh, obviously my niece, the older niece, told me exactly what she said and it's, you know, is there a plane of existence that adults we just don't see yet kids can see it's, um, you know, I think, me personally, I'm a believing person and um, You know, the ability to talk to the person you've lost, you know, just to know that they're all right. And so, you know, that ability to move on yourself, because it's painful for anybody who's lost anybody. It's it's incredibly painful. And it, I don't know if you ever really get over it. You, you come to terms and you move on a bit, but it still gets you. And it still, it still does me now. And... Uh, yeah, um, so anyway, back to the wine. So obviously it's a Rioja, um, good, good Riochas, Campo Viejo, they do some fantastic Riochas and uh, for me, um, Riocas, second behind Malbecs for me. I love Malbecs and Riocas just that bit behind. Again, great with steaks, great with blue cheeses, great with sausages in, in, in about 10, 15 minutes. Um, a very nice wine. And this, bearing in mind that it's only about four or five quid for the bottle. Um, not going to go on the internet to search, but I didn't pay any more than that. I'm a tight sod. Um, apart from when I want a really decent one, then I'll pay out. And uh, so, it's not a complex wine. It's definitely a wine. Like the other day, I did a wine the other day that was pretty much the same, really, in a lot of ways. Um, you've got your entry level wines, like your Blossom Mills, and then you've got your more. Uh, the starting to get complex wines this is definitely in that intermediate range at four quid you would expect it to be anyway you're not going to pay four quid and get a Barolo or um, a, a fine red wine you know um, unless you look at or unless it's off the back of a lorry and you, you know you're getting it cheaper than you should do uh, I've known that I've known that to occur but um, yeah, very palatable. 
good drinking wine. Um, we've already had some of these. I think this was on one of the, one of the Lidl's um, weekend deals because I'm sure I bought three bottles of this. So I may even, may have even got it for two ninety nine. So it probably is about a four ninety nine bottle of wine, and I got it for two ninety nine. And at two ninety nine, wow, it's an amazing tasting wine. It's. Fruity, but it's got some complexities there. Good taste. Um, you know, you know about it as well because it certainly hits you. Ooh. And uh, if you really want to test yourself on wines, get a bit of this wine, put it in your mouth. And then suck your teeth through it. I'll, I'll, and that really accentuates the flavour. As in, wow, you'll get it. Oh, probably put too much in. But that really shot up then. It goes straight to your head. And uh, it's a great way of um, seeing how strong the wines taste. And it gets you drunk a bit quicker and all. Same sort of thing as if you stood around here now and started jumping up and down. I ain't going to do that. But uh, that, you know, all helps get you drunk. Um, my brother did it to me when I was, um, how old was I? So my mum, came back to my mum again. Uh, she worked at the Golden Fleece um, on Mansfield Road in Nottingham, a pub, she was a barmaid. And uh, my brother was looking after us and he says, uh, she says, I'll send up some drinks for you. And I was only ten. <laughs> sister was five and uh, no, he this seen this bloke walking up the street I thought, and he's cribbed this bloody bottles be, uh, in some doorway and I thought that's our bloody drink so I ran across the road unopened bottle of Strongbow so I got it across I'm having some of that I only tell at the time so I like, want a bad lad but uh, and then I got this next to me. My brother's out getting on the front, getting me and my sister jumping around doing exercises. What happened next? <laughs> All over the walls on the inside of the house. And he had to clean it up. And uh, so, <laughs> yeah. So don't drink at an early age. Yeah, wait till you set 18. Then get pissed as much as you like. So, yeah, a decent enough taste in wine. And again, uh, the bottle. You look at that bottle. If you didn't, if someone didn't know you, you where that was from, they'd look at that nine, ten quid bottle of wine. And let's be fair. If I was hosting, um, you know, a dinner party. I would have no qualms about getting something like that. Where is everybody else? Everybody knows about Blossom Hills and other varieties. That, maybe not so. And a lot of these wine snobs, you know, these people, oh, um, um, Ernie Drink Brand Carter, Wolf Blast, I, and uh, I love a nice Chianti Classico. And you think to yourself, and then you, get, you open up a bottle of this, and, you know, Unless they, oh, I can taste the oak, and they think to yourself, what a load of rubbish. And uh, for me, as long as it tastes good, as long as it, as long as I can taste alcohol, because obviously you're drinking it for that reason, um, without being nasty to three mills, I reviewed one of their little bottles that I got from Home Bargains, supposed to be 10%. I drank it, it tasted like bloody grape juice. And I didn't even think it had any alcohol in it, so it didn't taste that good either. So, but this, for the price, can't fault it. And about 14 minutes. So, obviously, nice, dark reddy black colour, it's that same sort of colour. On the nose, certainly dark fruits on the nose. On the taste, yeah, very fruity. And them dark fruits go into the taste. It is a light wine. So if you like your Blossom Hills, you'll love, and your Echo Falls sort of wines, you'll love to step into this. If you like Yellowtails, this again, 
Yellowtail's a slightly more expensive, a couple of quid more expensive than the likes of Blossom Hill. But again, um, if you like your Yellowtails, you'll love this as well. You know, it's worth a try. Don't think that just because it's 4 99 that it's any less than a £7 bottle. They're all about the same. You only pay, a lot of the times, you're only paying for brand names. And that's why uh, the big brands can charge more because it's, it's, it's a perception that is better. And it's the same in all spirits and beers as well. We think that something from a big brewery is better than something from an, a, a brewery that we've never heard of. And, uh, you know, our perceptions in that way need to change. I mean, sometimes it's right, of course, you know. Some brands are just nasty. But, um, and you think to yourself, why would you release it if it don't taste right? Surely you'd want it tasting good to sell more. I don't know, it's a funny world. So, out of five, yeah, I really liked it. It's a really nice, easy-going red wine. Out of five, 4.3 out of five. Whilst it is nice, it's no world beater, but uh, it doesn't have to be. Not every wine does. So there you go. Another good little wine from Lidl. Can't fault their wines. And uh, one of these days I should have um, go in, spend 100 quid, and buy quite a few wines for the summer months, because obviously, we're in now we're in spring uh, it doesn't feel like it because it's freezing outside and it's only going to get cold hey my sausages are done yay that's the old good thing about having an allergen oven you can cook it and you don't have to stand over it brilliant yeah and uh, obviously it is spring but we're likely to get a bloody snowstorm this month for the way we're going so there you go and uh, cheers mum Thanks for watching. See you soon.